Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be solving this problem called decorators to name directory. <coughs> let's go through this. So, this is similar to what we have done in the previous problem. Uh, let's use decorators to build a name directory. You are given some information about n peoples. Each person has a first name, last name, age, and sex. Print their names in a specific format sorted by their age in ascending order. That is the youngest person name should be printed first for two people of the same age print them in the order of their input. So if they are having two, uh, though two people are having same age, you print them in the order of their appearance. So for Henry Davis, the output will be like Mr. Henry Davis. For Mary George, the output will be like Miss Mary George. So women will have MS, uh, men will have MR. Right, so first line contains the value integer n, number of people. Uh, next n line will be space separated values of first name, last name, age and sex. Okay, total it can be 1 to 9, 10. So you have to output n names on separate line in the format uh, described above in ascending order of age. Okay, so here you can see three names are given to you. Uh, Mike Thompson, age 20 sex male then you have robert bust bustle age 32 uh, gender male similarly andrea bustle age 30 gender female if you will arrange it via age you can see first mike thompson will come because it is youngest 20 then andrea bustle 32 uh, sorry 30 and then 32 it will be robert bustle so for sorting a nested list based on some parameter you can use item getter library uh, that is discussed here but uh, we will be using a key lambda so that will give you enough so you can see if you have a list of uh, lists that you can see 1 2 3 4 5 uh, if you have to uh, sort it you can uh, use something called item getter so you can also use lambda you can see that right so here you can see uh, they have used uh, uh, item getter this here uh, some some group uh, by function will give you uh, so here you can import the item getter then sort it using this it will sort with respect to a particular parameter you can see the sorting is 21 22 here it was random 21 22 21 22 like this so we won't be using that we will be using mostly this this thing right so which we have already done it uh, by using lambda and sorting it with multiple parameters so let's go through this um, slightly intermediate problem you can see here the this is the main function right so the people in the people they are uh, taking the the uh, the names of this uh, list of lists so this will be first element of the list which itself is a list then second element of the list will be this third element will be this right so then they are calling name format by passing people now name format is here and uh, you can't access it because it is inside of wrapper uh, uh, it is uh, at uh, this sorry wrapper i am going to decorator it is a person at the rate listener so it will go inside person at the rate listener it will uh, go see there is a function then it will return inner right then inner in being uh, being uh, operated here with the people people will have this people and uh, f will have this function name format okay just like previously what you had okay so this is uh, this is uh, being done now it will go inside inner and uh, there is for loop you can see uh, for i in range length of people print people i you can see that how it looks uh, so you can see here this is each element so we are printing right so people is a group of a group of uh, uh, list elements but you i am showing it here uh, they are showing it here in uh, line by line so uh, how do we have to do it so the first thing is uh, we have to sort it 
uh, using multiple parameters so first you have to sort with respect to the age but if the age is same you have to sort whoever came first so i'll be using dictionary here so from collections import order dict right so that that keeps on ordering uh, that keeps the order right so inside uh, inner uh, uh, what i will do is i'll remove this i'll define d is equal to ordered dict right uh, then okay let me uh, have this as well and uh, because it will be needed to me ordered dict bracket then instead of uh, uh, running the for loop here uh, i'll 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 do what i'll just save these guys d i equal to people i okay so now if i'll print d how it will look you'll see d let me print and show you so here you can see it looks like this so each of the names are having this uh, zero uh, the the index attached to it zero one and then here it is two so that i can sort in this fashion right so we have appended like this so nothing new i am doing just uh, using the uh, order dix whatever i have used before now let's do temp is equal to sorting purpose we will do right here so sorted if you remember sorted inside we used to put the list element uh, sorry the dictionary element so d dot items you do then what do we have to uh, uh, how do we have to sort we provide parameters with key is equal to lambda right then we provide x right so x is such that int x1 x 0 1 2 right yeah 0 1 2 so this is int yeah, i think i've messed up um Hmm. bracket is okay this is correct comma if uh, a, it will first uh, uh, sort with respect to age if the age is same it will uh, sort with respect to x0 correct and then close the bracket one more bracket is needed i think so sort no one more bracket is not needed so this is for sort this is for x okay one more bracket to be needed i think uh, uh, so int x okay this x is not required right so int bracket and then um, x0 is, is closed and then sorted is closed so this is not required yeah so this is the way so you can see you don't even need to convert into int i think so you can see first it will sort with respect to the age x12 means uh, this is x this guy is 1 and 0 1 2 this is the age it will sort with respect to this guy if there are two same age then it will sort with respect to x0 which is this guy right so nothing new i am doing we have already done this all sorting business uh, with respect to two multiple elements okay now if i'll print temp print 
so sorting thing i'm doing so you can see ordered like this then you can see it is sorted 20 then 30 will come and then 32 is coming here you are not having same same uh, here you are not having same what do i say uh, age that's why you are not able to see them let me let me take this guy and let me give a test input here now you can see it has to be sort with uh, 20 uh, 30 and then 32 right which is it is it is sorting let me do 32 here now how this will be sorted you can see robert is coming first that's why it is uh, robert will be first and then andrea so here you can see robert is first and then andrea if i'll do like this then andrea is coming first okay although they are of same age so what else i can do mm, same age right so sorting is done and 20 is coming uh, beforehand itself if i'll do 40 this guy then you can see sorting is done here you can see andrea is coming first then uh, robert and then finally it is coming 40 guy right so it is uh, that is how uh, sorting is done this is the most important thing here uh, how do you sort with respect to multiple elements right let me remove this guy now you have have uh, what you want right you have if you i'll print a uh, temp you you have the sorted uh, one okay not not temp yeah it is temp so you have the sorted one now you have to eject out these guys these guys now you don't need this indexes no so let me run a for loop again for loop again for i in temp for i in temp um, d dot append let me use it d again so d i have initialized again so here it was order dict now i am initializing it again so that i can use it now here what i'll append is function uh, i one inside bracket so you can see what i'm doing is i'm taking out uh, i'm taking out the first element in via i1 so this guy this guy will be uh, this guy will be uh, taken out and here this guy will be taken out and then here this guy will be taken out via this okay so here you can see uh, this is coming out via i1 right for each i you are saying and then it is passing it to function name format this f is name format no f is name format it will come here it will represent the the uh, the the list which is this guy this guy and convert it into this guy okay that's how it is being done so person is one list it is taking if the third thing is 0 1 2 3 if it is male uh, then it is uh, it is uh, writing m here mr if it is male else ms it is writing plus person zero name and person one which is last name and then it is returning back here and then next i will come that is the next name it will go here again and it will uh, print like this it will come back here okay so name format will have all of it and it, that's how it is being uh, printed okay so it is returning this this stuff here and it will append in d d will come here all the elements of d will be printed in next line right so that is how the the working will happen 
so now let me let me do the this guys comment run it oops hmm okay we have not returned d we have to return d hmm here yeah, i should do return d right so now it will print sample test case is passed all the test uh, cases are not passed hmm. is there any problem Oof. okay yeah i think i have to convert in these guys into int that's the problem they are in a string form hmm. okay let me run the code yeah all the test cases are passed so these ages were taken as uh, the the string so now it, they are taken as int so hopefully you have got the feel it is slightly tricky type of thing decorators and all with more practice you will be able to uh, get it uh, so yeah this is it about decorators and closures uh, let's move on to the next problem